Good morning guys. Welcome to the Butt First Coffee Wake Up Call. It is Monday morning and today I want to talk about comparisonitis and I am outside on our back deck this morning. Let's see if I can show you the sunrise. The sun is coming up nice and bright today. So I've been giving these wake up calls a lot of thought lately and figuring out, okay, what's working, what's not working, what do you guys want to see? So I'm doing more market research and figuring out what questions I can help answer and what more content is I can create for you guys. And um, one of the things that kept popping up is like I watch other people's live feeds and there's a lot of people that I watch in, um, in my newsfeed, a lot of the pages that I follow and these experts that I look to for advice and insights and I watch their live feeds and they've got this great setup in their house, in their room, they've got a light that I can tell is in front of them to make the lighting really great, their hair's all done, their makeup's cute and I kept uh, over the weekend especially kind of finding myself like fighting against like man why don't I do that? Why? I'm kind of like judging myself about being in my hat and coat and being in the park and doing stuff with the dog and making it a little bit more informal. And I came to the realization that I need to just do me. My messaging is around being a real mom in real life and balancing all of that stuff. And that means that in the morning, this is what I do. I get up and I walk the dog and we go outside and I take the kids to school and it's part of my morning routine. And this is when I feel doing my wake up calls with you guys and doing live calls and answering questions and all that is the best for me because I'm calm and focused. It's before I get swept up in the rush of what um, happens during the day of life. And I had to learn to stop judging myself against others, comparing myself against what other people are doing and being like, man, I'm not good enough. That's what it comes down to is I felt like I wasn't good enough. And so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is how you can overcome comparisonitis and learning to let go of what other people are doing and comparing yourself to it. And then what that does is make you feel like you're not good enough and you're not doing the right things. And it's not, um, you know, you're less than some of these other people. So. The first thing is to get into reality that you are you, you are not anybody else. And you can't, especially in like the fitness and health world, like you can't look like anybody else. You can only look like you. And really, truly grasping that and understanding that and that you do things the way you do things. You can't do them how anybody else does because you're not them. Like really, truly grasp that fact that you are you. You can't look like anybody else. You can't act like anybody else. You can't have the same business as anybody else or the same success as anybody else or the same marriage as anybody else because you're not them. Like that's physical reality. You can't clone yourself into them. You can't step into their shoes literally. Like you are you. So. While it's great to start out with following other people and starting to, you know, not straight up copy somebody else, but sort of taking that guidance from somebody else and trying some of their ideas and learning from them, I think that's really great. But you're gonna get to a point where you get to this level of like, things are good, but if you wanna go from like, things are okay and things are good to that great and that level of success, of success that you want, you have to do things your way because you are meant to do things your way. You are here on this earth for a reason. And I think that's the biggest thing that we need to start embracing in ourselves and understanding that you can only be you and who you are meant to be. And you are meant to be amazing and great and bring your gifts into this world. You have so much that is packed into you as the package of delivery for what God and the universe is meant for you, that like you have to start letting that out and embracing that and experiencing that and doing things your way and improving yourself and self-awareness and like you are a very unique gift and package to bring what you have to offer to the world. And that's the first and biggest thing that we can really do to start overcoming this, this tendency to compare ourselves to others is you can't be anybody else. You can't look like anybody else. You can't do any of that because that that's not who you are. No matter how much you like them, no matter how much, you know, 
like uh, plastic surgery you have, no matter how much you try to copy their steps, you can't have what they have, do what they have, be who they are, because that's not you. And the foundation of that is the person that you are and what you are meant for and what your gifts and talents and skills are. So that's first and foremost. <laughs> I so appreciate that. I appreciate your realness. It inspires me more than the 1950s pinup mom. Awesome. I love that. Thank you. And it's just about being true to yourself and knowing that you're going to do things the way that you do them because that's true to you. So number one is to make sure that you grasp the fact that you are you and you cannot be anybody else. You cannot look like anybody else, any of that stuff. So step two is to it's to take action on that, and what that means is to take steps forward in trying something new. Um, so you've been, you know, we learn from other people. We believe what the people that we were raised around, um, and like that's how we form our beliefs based on the people that we were raised around. So our parents, our grandparents, our aunts, uncles, family, friends, whoever you spent a lot of time around, they're the ones that you learned from, right? You learned by watching. If you watch your kids when they're super little, that's what they do. They do what you do, not what you say, because they're copying you and they're learning and they're forming their beliefs. So we do, we all start as emulating other people, copying other people, believing what they believe. What starts to differentiate us and get away from comparing ourselves and trying to be somebody else is starting to take action on things that are a little different. So raising your level of self-awareness and trying something new for you, something that you've never done before, and it could be literally something as simple as trying a new food that's in the grocery store that you never would have tried before. Um, trying a new recipe, trying a new restaurant, trying a new sport, um, going to the opera because you've never done something like that before. Going to a wrestling match because you've never done something like that before. Um, trying a, a a new TV show, pursuing a new job, watching a new um, YouTube video, a new podcast, reading a different book, um, saying hi to somebody random just to say hi. But by doing things that are outside our comfort zone, they're a little bit different than what we normally do. What that's going to do is start making you a little bit more you. You're going to discover more about yourself. You're going to discover more of what you do like, what you don't like, and that's what's going to help you walk down this path of becoming the true person you're supposed to be. So step one is really fundamentally believing and knowing you cannot be anybody else. It is physically impossible for you to act, be, do, have what somebody else has. You cannot be a copy of anybody else, right? Step two is to start taking action on that and discovering who you are. So do things that are a little uncomfortable. Do things that are different. Do things that somebody else, you know, maybe the opposite of what you were raised with and talking to somebody new and learning about something new so that you can start to learn what you do and don't like more than what you were raised on, right? Like if you look at our parents sometimes, They've done the exact same thing for 50, 60, 70 years. They've been eating the same things, living the same lifestyle, doing the same stuff. And the world has changed so drastically that they know themselves very well, but they haven't grown at all. They haven't changed at all. They don't know themselves as deeply as they could be because we are constantly growing and changing because our world is ever growing and changing. So take action on things that are new for you and start getting over the fact that you can't be somebody else. I am meant to be who I am meant to be. And that's freaking amazing and so exciting that you get to try new things. You get to be yourself and be different and be special like we're meant to be that way we're meant to be unique and we're meant to bring these amazing things and dynamics and insights and views and experiences that's what we are meant to do in this life we are meant to grow and be different and experience new things and bring our gift to the world and it's not until you start trying new things that you'll get to discover who you are as a unique person and who you're meant to be because up until now You've most likely been living and doing things and responding and doing things based upon what you were raised around and that formed your beliefs and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. But you are meant for more than that because that was what they thought, what they believed, what they wanted you to do, what they felt life was meant to be and now it's up to you to start t figuring out how you want your life to be and what you want to bring to the world and what you like and don't like. 
And we can only do that by taking action and starting to gain some new direction and insights and trying new things. It could literally be something as simple as like sleep on the other side of the bed for the night. Like try something new just to figure out how it affects you. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What did it do for you? And we can only learn those things by actually taking those steps and doing something new. Now, I posted on Facebook this morning, and I'll post it again in a little while, that I have two openings today and two openings tomorrow for free clarity calls. Now, what a clarity call is, is a 20-minute conversation when we're laser coaching on something for you. And I wanted to focus that stuff on being, if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed about all the stuff that's on your plate right now, the things that you have to do this week, you're feeling like you're just kind of on autopilot mode, right? Auto mom mode, you've got all these activities, all those routines, this is how school works, right? We get in that routine, we do our same activities, we're rushing from place to place, and it starts to get to too much and too stressed because we don't have time for ourselves, and we're not doing something that helps us stay balanced. So a clarity session helps us to understand, kind of get a grip on our time, put some time this week over what's important for us to do for ourselves, and to get clarity on making decisions that are honoring your priority, priorities and values that are in your control instead of letting life control you. So I have two openings today and two openings tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, you can comment below or send me a Facebook message if you're interested in one of those spots so that we can get you some clarity and it's totally free coaching call, clarity session, right? It's a laser coaching session, meaning it's only 20 minutes and we get in and focus and do um, some real serious work on getting you to the point of having clarity around what to do this week, what you can let go of, how to get out of that stress and the overwhelm and get rid of some of the things that are weighing on you and get that clarity going so that you can move forward and make decisions based on what your priorities and values are so that you feel really good and in control going forward this week. So this week and next week, I mean, let's face it, tomorrow is November 1st, which is absolutely incredible, and the holidays are like right around the corner, and that brings a lot of excitement and fun family time, but it also tends to bring a lot of stress into our lives with holiday breaks and work and life and holiday parties and family and all that stuff. So a clarity session is 20 minutes. It is focused on you and helping you get some clarity around what's causing you stress and overwhelm, getting you out of that place so you can make the right decisions for yourself and really getting a grip on your time so that you don't feel swept away in life over the next couple of weeks. So like I said, comment below or go ahead and send me a message and uh, I'll get you signed up for one of those spots. We can figure out what works for you. But that clarity is such a relief and a huge stress reducer to feel like you can do it. Like I can handle this. I can handle all this life to get that clear direction decided. Um, and it's something so simple and it really only takes 20 minutes. So I'm happy to help you guys with that. And, um, I think that's all I really want to say about comparison this morning and helping you guys start your week on the right foot. It is Monday morning, so I hope you have a fantastic week and uh, make sure you let me know if you're interested in those, one of those four clarity sessions today or tomorrow. Let me see. Here we go. Have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll talk to you Wednesday.